or didn't buy you to his house? Uh, we st- we talked on the phone a lot before I went to. Well, I can't say a lot. It may have been like three weeks, and it may not have been long enough, but maybe it's about <laughs> three weeks. <laughs> and um, uh, he invited me to his his apartment, and he came to see me a couple of times as well. What did you yeah. like about talking to him on the phone that, that kind of made you fall deep for him to, to make you trust him to want to go to the house, or did he come to your house first? I went to his house first, and I actually, I was afraid, and I know this may sound dumb, but I took a gun. When I, <laughs> no, that's smart. You're smart. I took a gun because I just was like, you know, I mean, he seems nice, but he may be crazy. That's right. So I I put uh, my uh, nine millimeter in my That's purse. That's right, girl. And I went over to his house. I didn't stay long. I I made I stayed about maybe two hours because he tried to get me to to stay. You know, actually the night that I met him, he asked me to come. You know, asked me did I want to come to his apartment, and I told him no. You know, I said well no. You know, I said you could just give me a call, but I was not going to go to his house that night. You know, because, you know, he was strange. I had just met him. But uh, so that night that I went, the first night I did go, I was really nervous because uh, I hadn't dated anyone in a while. And so I took my gun with me. And I just really, for some reason, I really felt really secure. Uh, I mean, I felt really comfortable around him because of, um, I guess he seemed to be a very enlightened person. He seems to have a knowledge, a lot of knowledge. Uh, a lot of spiritual knowledge. He wasn't one of those people that you know was a Jesus bubble, you know. Because I don't go to, you know, I don't go to church, and I'm not really crazy about uh, men who love Jesus more than they love themselves. And um, he just didn't seem to be that, you know, that type of person. He just seemed to be really um, spiritually enlightened. Okay, and, you know, so what talk- kind of spiritual things was he talking to you about that impressed you? Um, well, this this particular, you know. I guess we. I had this book that he had read, and we discussed it. Um, called the Metonetter. Yeah, um, I have the Metonetter. Yeah, that, that. So we, just, you know, discussed the material within that book. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm young at the time, 28. So I'm thinking that, you know, you may have a little sense, you know, because mm-hmm. I didn't just really come across a lot of people like that. Mhm. Yeah. And that that was what something that I had um, wanted. So would he man. have these deep spiritual conversations with you, or he just mentioned excerpts in the book from the Matunatur? That's excerpt, yeah. So did he focus any on dealing with the spiritual sex and the breathing? No, we didn't get there. We didn't. We didn't get to talk about sex. No. Oh, so did y'all just do the med- just the med- you know the meditation and. Um, the chanting, that type of stuff. Because I think it does mention sex in there, but I'm saying, did you all practice and see so spiritual, any spiritual sex? We did later, you know, later on in the relationship. We did okay. later, but not, not initially, no. Okay, so at first, what did he tell you, that he was by himself, he was single, looking for someone committed? Is that what you thought, or did he tell you it's just y'all just dating while he's dating other people? Well, when we initially met, he told me that he... This is where I messed up, Alexis. I'm not going to lie. You sounding low again. You sounding I said, I'm, this is where I messed up, and I'm not going to lie. When he told me this, I should have ran. When he told me he was going through a divorce. Okay. He had his own place. So in my mind, I'm thinking that it was actually, like, near his end, and that he had no um, ties, you know, well, you know, that him and his um, wife were actually, like, in the process of it being over. So um, I got, you know, I got caught up into that because it actually wasn't what it was. You know, they were actually not, they were contemplating divorce. He had moved out, got his own apartment, I found out. And, you know, by that, by by the time I found all this out, we were some months into the relationship, and it just seemed like I just could not leave. But he wasn't still seeing the woman, they were just still married. They had they were still married, mm-hmm. but he wasn't seeing her. You know, he wasn't seeing her. Are they still married? Did he get a divorce? They did. They did get a divorce. So, what did he tell you that he wanted to pursue a serious relationship with you? 
Did he want to be one on one with you? He never. Um, well, um, this year he he told me that he wanted to uh, see other people. Okay, so in 2009, but when y'all met three years ago, what was he saying? When you started going to the house, you know you liked him, you had a lot of things in common. as a spiritual man having spiritual conversations, mm-hmm. and he let you know, I want to be sexual. What did he tell you he wanted, just a friendship and a sexual relationship, or does he want to date you but not get too serious too fast? Or what exactly what did he say to make you want to go ahead and have sex with him? Well, I guess I was just horny. He really did tell me he he wanted a, a good friend and somebody that, you know, he can get to know. But he didn't ever tell me he wanted to be in a relationship in the beginning. And he was very nice to you, though. Yeah, he was. Okay, so how many times did you go over to the uh, apartment before sex actually took place? It was about a month later. So by that time, y'all had dated some more. He spent some more money on you, took you out places, did things with you, took you to dinner, mm-hmm. breakfast, what? Mm-hmm. He would give me money. Just He would give me money without me even asking for it, and, you know, at the beginning of the relationship. Why? why? Did he say why? No, he just, just did. He just wanted to. He just said that you just thought you might need some. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that convinced you more that this guy really must care and like me and... Yep. It's okay for me what to go deeper or to have feelings for him or, or that it just turned you on and made you want to really have sex with him and kind of keep him. Yep. It did. <clears throat> so when you finally had sex, what was the sex like? Oh, Lord. <laughs> 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 you ever heard this song by Drake? No, oh, it was the best I ever had. Yes, I, I heard R. Kelly, the best sex I ever had. Yeah, it was the best I ever had. I, I, so what I did he do? I thought I was gonna crazy, go crazy when we did have sex. I just felt all kind of shit happening to me. What? What happened? What did he do? What, what kind of thing did he do that made you feel this way? How did you feel? Um, he just—I can't remember the things he said to me, but he, you know, you know, I can just remember him talking to me and taking his time with me, and you know, really, you know, caressing me and trying to make me feel comfortable. Because I, I, I guess he knew he was about to lay some, some pipe down. <laughs> Girl, what was he saying when he was talking to you? He just put it down on me. Um, oh, you know, just saying, you know, you're so beautiful. You know, things like that. You're so sexy. You're so fine. And, oh, I just really, just really, you know, crazy about you. And he actually told me that he thought he loved me. And I should have known, you know, not in a month. You don't love me in a month. Wait a minute, was this during the sex or after y'all had started having sex? This was before we started. Wow, he said he felt like he was falling in love. Uh Uh-huh, he did. So during the sex, while he was he talking to you while he was taking your clothes off, or this was foreplay while he rubbing you down? He's talking, telling you he loved you, or telling you you sexy and yeah, before before the sex, but during the sex it wasn't much talking. (laughs) So. Okay, what parts were he was talking, like talking through it, like getting up to the actual sex, like the foreplay, relaxing you, rubbing your body? Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah. And then what like was I the... Like I said, get me, very, get me comfortable because I hadn't had sex. Um, I, I may, it may have been like six, seven months. I mean, not long, but um, I had, um, it had been, for me, that, that was a while because I like, I mean, I liked it. Mm-hmm. And I always have sex, you know, frequently. Mm-hmm. So six months was a long time for me. Yes. And so um, I guess he could sense I was kind of nervous because I was shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I was shaking because I felt it, you know. I had felt on him, you know, before. Oh, I so was... when you saw the dick, girl, you started shaking? I started shaking. <laughs> Carol, wait a minute, what that man dick look like? It's big. It's oh. real big. It's big. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's humongous. Girl, like how long and how it's, thick? It's thick. I won't. I I never measured it, but it's thick. It's real thick and it's real long. So I never I, up until right now. I can't even. I still can't take it. Oh. What? So you could never take your vagina, your pussy, one deep enough to really take all the length. I, I can't take it all. 